Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through my top three recommended methods to have all your Facebook ads data being tracked properly in your ads manager. Now, if you've been doing Facebook ads for a while, you've probably struggled with the problems in terms of having your data being reported correctly to your ads manager. So what this would cause is you would have three or four or five sales on your Shopify, and then you would have like one or two being tracked on the ads manager. This is extremely prejudicial because you cannot really know the true ROAS of an ad set unless your data is being tracked properly. So what I'm giving you guys today is my top three recommended methods to have all your Facebook ads data be tracked correctly into your ads manager. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so to give you a quick overview of what this video is going to be about, I'm going to give you three different methods that I recommend that you go through in that order to set up your tracking and have your Facebook ads data being tracked correctly. Now these go from cheap to some that are a lot more expensive. The first one that I'm going to talk about is actually free, which is of course implementing the Facebook conversions API. That's the first thing that you should be doing. The next thing, if the first one doesn't work, is you try alternative APIs to the Facebook one. And finally, if not nothing else worked, then you have the solution that works 100% of the time and will always or pretty much always track all your data, which is UTM based solutions. So first, let's get on to method number one that I recommend for you to implement right now to have all your Facebook ads data being correctly tracked, which is of course the Facebook conversions API. And if you haven't tested this before, you definitely should before you do anything else. So we're in the computer here and I'm going to tell you exactly what I recommend that you do to implement the Facebook conversions API in your Shopify store. So the first thing you should do is you click add a sales channel and you add the Facebook sales channel. Now this is going to ask you to integrate the Facebook sales channel with your Shopify store. And it's going to take you through a quick setup in terms of integrating your account, your Facebook business manager, your ad account, your pages and everything to be correctly connected to your Shopify store. Once you've done that, Facebook pretty much does most of the setup for you. The only few things that you need to tweak will be on the side of your business manager and we'll get into those right now. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to get to your business manager and then go to events manager and then click on settings. Once you're in the settings, this is what the screen of your events manager settings is going to look like. You just need to scroll down to where it says turn on automatic advanced matching. Make sure that you turn this on and make sure that you click here where it says show custom information parameters and then you enable all of them. This means that all of this data is going to be shared, which will give you a higher accuracy in matching your customer data from your store to your ads manager. The next thing that I would recommend is that you scroll down and you come to connected partners and set up through a partner integration. So you should choose a partner. So in case Shopify is not showing up here, which it should because Facebook and the sales channel should do that automatically. But if it isn't, make sure you click choose a partner and you integrate with the conversions API through your events manager. The next thing that you need to do is you need to go to aggregated events measurement. So go back to overview on your events manager, then click aggregated events measurement, click configure web events. And when you click configure web events, you're going to get a list of the events that you want to configure for your iOS 14 tracking. In this case, I would recommend that you add purchase, add payment info, initiate checkout, add to cart and view content as a minimum. And make sure that's very important. Make sure you select your pixel, the pixel that you're using for your store, and make sure that you set the events in the correct order of price priority. And this is essential because with iOS 14 restricting the amount of data that can be communicated to your store, Facebook ends up communicating only your highest priority event, which means that if your highest priority event is purchased, purchases will be prioritized in terms of the data that gets sent back. If you, let's say you had add to cart on the top of the list, then even if someone bought a product from you, you would only get the add to cart. So make sure that you have the data correctly set up in the correct order. So purchases first, add payment info, initiate checkout, add to cart, and then view content. And that's pretty much everything that you need to do in terms of setting up the Facebook conversions API. What I would recommend that you do after this is that you give it three, four days to optimize because Facebook does say that the conversions API might take up to three days to communicate the data to the ads manager. So give it three days, four days, and then come back and cross-reference your data with your Shopify analytics. So in your Shopify store here, what you would do is you would click analytics, you would come to the dashboard, you select the days that you've been running Facebook ads. And of course, this is assuming that you're only running Facebook ads as your only source of traffic, because if you have more than one source of traffic, this 
this will not be a valid method to verify because you might have add to carts coming from a different source. But if you only running Facebook ads, you can come here and you're going to check the number of add to carts and reach checkouts and sessions converted. And if it does match the one on the ads manager, then you're good to go. Facebook will be doing the right job for you. If it does not, if you have at least more than 25% on track data, then I would say you need to move on to a different solution. And speaking of different solutions, let's move on to the number two method that I recommend that you implement to track your Facebook ads data correctly. The number two is implementing different conversions APIs alternative to the one made by Facebook. So we're back in the computer here and the first app that I would recommend that you test is Trackify. If you want to check out Trackify, I've left a link in the description. You can use that link, install Trackify and you'll get a free trial so you can see if it works for you before you even make your first payment. So once you add the app, the setup is extremely easy. You just add Trackify to your Shopify store and this is the screen that it shows you first. Now keep in mind that I'm recommending these apps because after one year roughly of working with iOS 14 and the changes that it brought, this is the app that has seen the most success with my students and my clients. So this is the one that I'm recommending first before anything else. Trackify is the app that you should try first and if it doesn't work, you move on to a different solution. And this is because unfortunately I've seen different results. Some apps work for some people, some apps work for other people. And the first thing that I would recommend, of course, because it's free, it's the conversions API. And if that doesn't work, try out Trackify. Now, once you install Trackify, they have a video right here, which shows you exactly what you need to set things up. So make sure that you follow this video very, very carefully, because if you don't set it up correctly, it's not going to work. After you set up everything that's explained in the video, you need to come to Pixel Engine and then click Pixel Engine again. Now, if you've done everything correctly, your pixel is going to be displayed here. What you need to do here is you need to click the pencil icon that's going to show up right next to your pixel and then check a box that will say enable conversions API. So you need to enable that. That's very, very important. This means that Trackify will be working to its full potential in reporting the data to your ads manager. And by the way, this is a question that I do get a lot regarding Trackify. Trackify will report to your ads manager just like the Facebook conversions API. So you don't need to come here to read your data. If Trackify is working properly, it's going to be showing the data in your ads manager inside of your Facebook business account. So try out Trackify. They give you a 14 day free trial. So use it for the full 14 days and see if you're getting most of your data tracked. Again, if more than 25% of the events are not being tracked, it's time to move on to a different solution. The next solution that I would recommend is Omega Multipixel. So it's this app right here. I'm going to leave a link to the app in the description. Once you install it, you go into the app control panel and you follow their instructions. So these are the first instructions that you need to follow. They're very simple. The next thing it's going to ask you to add a code to your store. It gives you all the instructions. It's very easy to set up. Once you're done with this, the next thing that you need to do is you need to enable the server side API. So there's going to be an option here to enable the server side API. To do that, it's going to ask you to generate the access token from Facebook. So to do that, you need to go to your events manager and get your access token. I'm going to get into the computer again. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So once you're in the events manager, you're in the settings screen of your events manager. Make sure to scroll down to where it says generate access token here. Click this button. It's going to give you a string of numbers and letters. That is your access token. Make sure to copy that over to the app and you'll be good to go with the server side API enabled. Once you're done with Omega and setting everything up, they also give you a seven day free trial. So use the free trial and see if it's reporting your data correctly. If it's not, one thing that I recommend that you do before you give up on either Trackify or Omega is reach out to their customer support if your data isn't being tracked properly and ask them to integrate the app and fix whatever might not be working properly with your store. And what usually happens is they will get their developers to have a look at your store through a staff account. And sometimes they're able to fix whatever is not working properly and getting your events to fire and get reported back to your ads manager. But sometimes they are unable to get everything to work. So if that is your case, it's time to move on to solution number three to get your Facebook ads data correctly tracked. And that is the UTM based solutions. So UTM based solutions are the only way that you can get pretty much 100% of your data being correctly tracked. Unfortunately, though, they require you to look at a different interface because they don't report to the ads manager. Now I'm going to show you a way to use UTMs for free with Google Analytics. And I'm going to show you a way to have a paid app where you can use an interface that's a little bit more complex, much like the ads manager and allows you to have all your data organized. But of course, unfortunately, those solutions are paid. However, I do have one of those paid solutions that I can recommend because I've had a really, really positive experience with them. They are not that expensive and their customer support is super helpful in getting you set up and getting everything working properly. Of course, to use UTM solutions, the first thing that you need to do is you need to have your Google Analytics account ready to 
to go. So if you haven't done that, go on Google, search for Google Analytics, set up your Google Analytics account. It's pretty easy to do. And once you have that, you need to connect that with your Shopify store. So we're in the computer again. This is where you connect your Google Analytics to your Shopify. You need to go to online store and then preferences and then enter your Google Analytics code in here. So Shopify has a guide that you can use right here to teach you exactly how to set it up. It's pretty easy. Once you have that, you're ready to go and start using your UTMs. Now I'm going to show you how you create the UTM parameters in your Facebook ads manager. So we're in the ads manager here. This is the ad level. So when we're making our creatives, we just scroll down to the section where it says UTM parameters. And this is where we're going to create our UTM parameters. So we click here and we click build a URL parameter. And now if you want everything dynamically tracked, which is a lot easier, you need to use the dynamic tracking parameters. So if you want to have your campaign being tracked, you come here to campaign source and you click campaign ID. Then if you want your placements being tracked, you come here and you click placement, right? And that's going to tell you if it's coming from the Facebook feed or the story ads, which is very important when you're analyzing your data. Then the campaign name, you should add the campaign name parameter as well, because the campaign name is going to tell you which campaign your traffic is coming from. Now, if you're like me and you like to organize your campaigns with everything and all the information in your ads manager referring to what the campaign is in the campaign title, then you can use the campaign name parameter to reflect the campaign name in your UTM analytics. And then I would recommend that you add two extra parameters here. The first one would be the ad set with the ad set name and then the ad with the ad name. So in this way, if you're naming your ad sets and your ads properly, you're going to know exactly which ad set and which creative your traffic came from. Once this is done, you just click apply and your UTM parameters are going to be ready to go and they're going to be used in every single ad that you create. Every time someone clicks the shop now button or whatever call to action you're using and even if they click the link. So when you type the link in your ad description, even though the UTM is not visible there, Facebook will still recognize that link click and it will add the UTM parameters automatically. Now, where do you see this data being reported? When someone clicks the ad, the UTM parameter is going to be triggered and it's going to be picked up by the Google Analytics tag on your website. So when that happens, Google Analytics is going to automatically sort all the traffic according to the UTM source. To see all this information, unfortunately, you cannot do it in the ads manager. You need to do it in your Google Analytics account. So you log into your Google Analytics account and you go to this directory here that I'm going to put on the screen with this picture right here. And when you go here, you're going to see a board with all of your traffic sources and all of the information being tracked there. And that's how you use UTM parameters for free. Finally, my last recommendation is click magic. So if you're using UTM parameters, but you need to integrate multiple platforms or if you want to have a better interface to look at, the solution that I would recommend is definitely click magic. Their support is amazing. I've had really good feedback from their support. So if you need any assistance, reach out to them and they're really Really useful in helping you set up everything. Now, Click Magic is a UTM based solution. I'm going to leave a link in the description as well to Click Magic if you want to try it out. This is the paid UTM based solution that I would recommend if you want to try one out. And that's it for today's video, guys. This is the result of my last year of experience working with issues in untracked Facebook data with my clients and my students. And these are the tools that I've seen the most success with from free tools to the paid tools. I hope this was helpful. If you go through these solutions, I'm sure you'll find one that fits your needs and you'll be able to finally get your Facebook data being tracked properly. That being said, I have something that I want to announce. I wanted to have done this before, which is a giveaway for a one hour consultation call with me. I've been wanting to do this since we hit 1000 subscribers on the YouTube channel, for which I'm really grateful for. I really appreciate you guys support and being here and I wanted to give something back. So I'm doing a giveaway for a one hour consultation call. So if anyone needs any help with their store or with their marketing or media buying strategy, you can sign up for that giveaway. You get a chance to get a one hour consultation call so we can go through whatever you're doing together and I can help you out to the best of my ability. I'm going to leave a link in the description to sign up for the giveaway. The only thing that you need to do is, of course, be a channel subscriber and fill in the form for the giveaway. So it's a very, very quick form just to get your email address and your name. And within one month from the day that this video goes live, I will be sending an email to the winner and I will also be announcing it on the next video. So if you guys need some help with whatever you're doing right now, feel free to sign up for the giveaway. I'm excited to help one of you guys with a one hour consultation call. I hope you liked the video. As always, please let me know in the comments what you thought your feedback is really really important thank you for sticking around i really appreciate your support and i'll see you on the next one bye